Do, 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 do. Hey, hey, World Warriors! I'm Brian Croman for a Croman Review, taking a little break from all the fighting because it's the Halloween month of October, and uh, I thought it would be a little appropriate to insert a little horror into the web show. So we'll see how you guys like that. Kicking things off, this is... Resident Evil Revelations. Yeah, that. Resident Evil Revelations can best be described as Capcom's attempt to bring the series back a little closer to its survival horror roots, and God was it a welcome change. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I really don't mind the action horror route that the series has gone in recent years, but Revelations was released between Resident Evil 5, Mercenaries 3D, Resident Evil 6, and... and the worst Resident Evil game I ever played, which coincidentally happens to be the most actiony of them all, Operation Raccoon City. Revelations was a nice break from all of that, so, you know, let's dive right in and have ourselves a closer look. <sighs> Friggin' Christ, can we just get started now? Great, awesome. So Revelations takes place about a year after the events of Resident Evil 4. Umbrella's bioweapons have made it onto the black market, and terrorist organizations can't get enough of it. They love it! Uh, the game focuses on Jill Valentine, Chris Redfield, and a new supporting cast of characters investigating the bioterrorist group, Veltro. But, in 2004, Veltro, a terrorist group opposing the city's development, launched a bioterrorist attack. They not only released a virus, but also several creatures, known as bioorganic weapons, further complicating the situation. This launched one of the worst tragedies the world has ever seen. While the bio-attack on Terra Grigia was, uh, solved via solar satellite... Supreme Local Headquarters issued the order to use the city's solar energy matrix on itself. Media outlets around the world began to refer to the incident as the Terra Grigia Panic. I guess that beats nukes. Uh, officially, Veltro is considered long and gone, but new evidence kind of appears to say otherwise. So our Raccoon City veterans are on the case. A majority of the game takes place on board the Queen Zenobia, a luxury cruise liner, and my god, is it just friggin' perfect? Dark, isolated, tight, claustrophobic, lots of places for enemies to hide and jump out from. This is the kind of setting I've been waiting for in a horror game, and Capcom just friggin' nailed it! Uh, to complement the setting, there's the ever-present threat of the new water zombies called Ooze, created by an aquatic strain of the T-Virus called T-Abyss. You'll see a few different variations of those, along with boss mutations, and even the appearance of classic hunters. Now, the footage you guys have been seeing this whole time was collected from the HD remix of Revelations for the PS3 and the 360, uh, released earlier this year. Not quite up to par with Resident Evil 6, but you have to understand, this game was originally released on the 3DS, and for a handheld title, this game looked incredible! 
Now, as far as gameplay goes, I'd go so far as to say that this is my favorite Resident Evil title. It plays like a, like a much smoother Resident Evil 4 and 5, the way I actually wish both of those games played. Now you can strafe, the game does like Metal Gear did and switches to first person while aiming, uh, being able to fire your weapon and move at the same time, separate buttons for using your primary weapon, healing, and grenades, no more stupid inventory management, and having to collect and combine herbs of different varieties. There's even a dodge mechanic, which is pretty, uh, pretty... Get on with it. Get over there! Kinda dodgy? Really? Really? I know. I know. I I'm not proud of that joke either. But in all seriousness, pulling off a dodge with any kind of consistency in Revelations is nearly friggin' impossible. Like, like the input window for the command is just unfairly tight. And, and more often than not, I'll, I'll find myself dodging on complete accident when I'm pretty sure I'm not even pressing the button to dodge, so <laughs> I got nothing. That said though, combat's pretty friggin' rad. I mean, enemies move in very twitchy and unpredictable ways, and even when your shots are connecting, you can easily blow through a clip before getting the kill, especially on harder difficulties. You combine that with the scarcity of ammunition, and you'll find yourself back into that old Resident Evil mindset of avoiding combat as often as you possibly can to conserve resources. To help slightly take the edge off, they do introduce a new item, the Genesis, which, uh, which you can use to scan your surroundings for hidden items, or you can even scan an enemy's bio readings for herbs. I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you right now though, as someone that is super anal about exploring every corner of every room for every friggin item, you are still never going to have a comfortable amount of ammunition and herbs unless you avoid a fight or two. I mean, just one boss fight can completely drain you dry. Thankfully, the game's exceptionally well paced, uh, with levels broken into smaller, more manageable chunks, running anywhere from five minutes to a half hour, you get roughly eight hours worth of campaign total, and uh, between chapters, you even get these friggin' awesome little TV episode summaries that, uh, that catch you up on what's been going on in case you haven't played for a while. It's, it's friggin' awesome. Previously on Resident Evil Revelations. We lost contact with Chris and Jessica. The signal was lost over the ocean. Queen Zenobia. Right here on this ship. It's easy to assume the game, the game was made that way because, well, Revelations was originally released on the 3DS. It was it was meant to be more mobile friendly. A lot of frequent changes in perspective as well as you switch between three different teams. Jill and her partner, Parker, Chris and his partner, Jessica, and Quint and Keith. Unfortunately, this also brings something else to the surface rather quickly. One of Revelation's most glaring flaws, its supporting cast really isn't that great. Uh, I mean, other than Parker, it, it feels like everybody else just dramatically out of place, especially Quentin Keith, who I guess they're supposed to be Resident Evil's comic relief duo? And I'm using the phrase comic relief very loosely. Send a team to Valcoin and Mock Airport. Look for something linked to this ship, O'Brien. Yes, I read you. I'll send Quentin Keith. What? You two. Get ready to move. Uh, I hate 
snow. Snow hates you. Just find out anything you can on Veltro. And then there's raid mode, which uh, which is not so much like the mercenaries mode that we've uh, that we've gotten used to in recent titles. Raid mode is more of an, an arcade-like time trials, where you're trying to get through campaign levels as quickly as possible, eliminating as many enemies as possible, either solo or cooperatively. You'll even run into smaller or larger variations of ooze zombies, and some with various buffs to their attack, defense, or speed. Of course, plenty of unlockable characters and weapons at your disposal as you progress. I actually prefer this type of mode in my Resident Evil games than Mercenaries, and I hope to see it again in future releases. And with all that said, final thoughts. Resident Evil Revelations is my favorite RE game that's come out in recent years. It takes the best elements of the series' modern style of gameplay and properly fits it back into the survival horror genre of old. It's great to see that narrative gap between RE4 and 5 filled in, even if the story is somewhat predictable and definitely on the short side. Still, I'd say Revelations is a must-have for the 3DS, and even more so on console. If you've been waiting for Resident Evil to go back to its roots, this is the game you've been waiting for. I'm Brian Croman for a Croman Review, and hey, if you like this episode, why not hit it with a little 4-hit combo? Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, right here on a Croman Review.